think she's in also. They won't, they won't lay right now because they're starting to mold. I raised, I raised a lot of game birds for a lot of years, man. I, I, I raised a fuck game birds for almost 30 years. I don't, I don't anymore. But I, I want to go back and do it again. But I just don't have the legs to do it. And I moved and I built a house. And where I live now, I cannot have that animal. I live in a community. But where I was in before, I had a little space where I could raise up my birds. But now I don't, I don't have a place to do it. So I just stopped myself all this stuff. I all my birds from here. Dude, I would be tempted to have gay birds. What about you? Yeah, let me go get them. Oh, I, I love gay birds. Yeah, they go gay birds. I mean, they're, they're pretty fun as hell. I know how to raise them. I've raised them for 30 years. I know where the honor of them too, the good ones. Dude, the funny thing about the gay birds is, like, they live better than any pet I've ever had. Like, dogs, cats, anything. Gay birds, it's like, whoa. Have you seen, did you ever put weights on them? Okay, so I've, I've actually seen uh, this one guy who recently lived. Yeah, who goes to the New Orleans like world championship back when they had that. Okay, and, and they still have it, but it's like on the ground now. It's not yeah. the same thing, you know. And he used to have a huge prize money. And the guy, oh, yeah. the guy had, uh, I, I actually, he's from the Big Island, okay? And he's the guy I bought that truck from, and it's like all cherry after it was salvaged. Uh-huh. And he put the front end back together, and then the, and then I was that up. Uh-huh. And uh, he's a really solid guy. And 